What's up guys, it's XBM Connect here now. I am feeling a little sick, but I wanted to release this video about probably the greatest thing that ever happened in Cody and creating uh, best of both worlds all together, and that is Plex for Cody. Now, if you don't know, uh, Plex and Cody uh, spun off of um, the XBMC format way back when, uh, before uh, Cody was uh, named Cody and Plex was Plex. So it it came from the that uh, media player. So that's a little background. Uh, Plex is um, more familiar with and kind of open to more um, uh, devices rather than Cody, uh, just because of its uh, uh, different type of um, add-ons and then like servers and all that stuff. So um, we're gonna take a look at a, a beta version, I guess you could say. Uh, I am feeling kind of sick, but I wanted to release this video. So um, right now, you can only get the zip file through if you're a Plex Premium user, which is like five ninety nine. I mean four ninety nine um, monthly for it. Um, and you you need like a bunch of servers that you know that you could have it connected. There is add-ons, but um, that I'll probably do another video all about Plex on um, the Plex app by itself so as you can see I just installed the add-on we're gonna go through it by um, unveiling it today so um, author is Plex the version is 0 0.0.88 and let's go ahead and go to the settings just to see what's up uh, you could transcode format is MKV uh, or HLS so it all depends I think uh, let's have it on just the default and we're gonna go ahead and go to it now, if you're, you're familiar with Plex, um, you do have to have a sign uh, login so you could sign up for free, or if you want to do the premium, so you could like have it on uh, other devices, and you you could have your friends uh, log into it if you want, if you want them to have the access and also uh, as well like that. So I, I do have a sign in. So what's crazy is that you have to um, put this on the on your browser to check it out. So I'm gonna do that right now. And show you that I could log in to this sorry you're not seeing it right now but I'm doing it on another screen so you could check so you could check out what the what it looks like so I'm already logged into my Plex on my browser and uh, as you can see right there it's already connected now I do have um, some servers uh, from a bunch of people uh, so I'm very thankful for that I'll have their um, links to to my um on my video description but what you can do is request you can, um i'll explain all the the way servers work and all this but i'm actually really liking the way um this add-on looks it doesn't look like uh coded at, at at all you know so here's my uh xbm connect and i could go to my settings and then basically put whatever I want so as you can see I'm on Cody 16.1 you could use the beta and you can use all these other versions to it and you can do all this other stuff so if I wanted to start Plex on Cody when the Cody starts up it'll, it'll do it but I'll just have it normal like that and um, remote quality remote quality meaning like you could actually um, offline play or, or online play on your other devices like your tablet or your phone and all that so as you can see it does allow 4k and we're gonna go ahead and do that too and then automatically sign in um, probably do that later and then let's just go back to the home so uh, this is the home and this is it looks really good um, what I like about Plex is the fact that you don't have to deal with a bunch of links like the Kodi add-ons and these are all my um, servers that I know of uh, there's uh, some IPTV which is root IPTV um, this guy is, has a server this guy has a server and this guy has a server so you can see a bunch of servers so if I went to for this one let's see if it looks so at the very top you got your main menus that you want to that he has categorized now in the movies music and startup and all that stuff so as so you can see now if you want it to just um the home then you'll get all this so you got your recent television and recent added movies and all that and then 
if I wanted to continue watching what I, I was continuing watching on my other Plex devices, then it could continue on. Now, this is probably the best part of Plex, just because if you're on your computer or on your tablet, you're watching it um, the, currently this right now, then you could, when you go to, on your bedroom with your Kodi and it has Plex on it, then you could actually continue it from right where you left off. That's probably one of the biggest feature that uh, Plex has over Kodi, I think. Now, Plex with being Kodi, I mean, Plex add-on, that's real, real, real big because you could just probably not have any other add-ons and you could have this. Now, um, there is some live TV on Plex um, that you could do all as well, and I'll mention that uh, later on in the other videos and how to get them and stuff like that. So, um, now this this guy's uh, server you have to actually um, donate five dollars to help out just you know to just to help them with the server um, pr um, monthly and all that stuff so if I did click on one of these let's see for instance I clicked on on deck meaning is what I actually was playing before now um, if I'm on the on friends the actual one the the show uh, you can see that all, all, all right here, 720 and all that stuff. So on this button right here, it's the ba it's basically a random button. So you can see that I'm on season nine, episode three. And if I were to click this, give it a few seconds, and I'm on season I'm on season nine, 16. Now if I were to skip it to a different um, episode. And you can see that I'm on season 915 and it, it's that's what I love about it because you could just go to a rand uh, a show now navigating probably is a little bit weird because I'm used to the way Plex is now if I were let me show you now in the movie section you could have it uh, a random button as well so whatever you feel like you don't know what to watch you can actually do that so you can see that it's ap alphabetical order um, you could actually have it as uh, let's go right here by by name or all or by year or um, whatever you wanted now the metadata is is a little coming uh, little slower but it, I'm pretty sure it'll get a little better and then the view section right there and I think you just have two of them so that that's about it you yeah, can see search as well too so how far I went to go home and then there's a whole new um, screen as well so you got all your releases and then recently added top drama so it recommends you like a bunch of it's basically kind of like a Netflix but um, kind of like your own and all that so let's go to TV shows and then same thing and what's actually cool is if I were to go click on this one and I could see the other um, episodes from the season and all that and then uh, I related shows cast so it's a full-blown um, uh, thing right and then let's see I think this is the one this is how if um, the quality of it, uh, the stream of the server is is uh, you're having a hard time, then you can change the quality to whatever you want and all that, um, and then you could choose this one where you could actually go to the show, go to show or go to TV show. So let's go to go to the actual show of it, and you can see that the list of um, seasons right here. So if I were to just uh, random play. And it'll, it'll like again uh, with what I showed you earlier. It'll show uh, whatever episode where I was left off. So if I were to just click on random again, actually that's off. Clicking it again, as you can see, I didn't have a, a, a link that I have to choose or any of that. It just straight on plays. Um, and then season five, episode one. So it's like a real cool thing where. You just skip to it and all that. So anything that you do right now on the Plex add-on will um, basically connect to the other devices that you have Plex on, and you can see you can continue from wherever you watch. So if I were to go to a different server, 
and I, I have all this stuff too. So it's a nice um, add-on compared to the add-ons that I've seen uh, with the way it looks, UI-wise, right? So you got more over here, and you got stuff like that, and then I could just go to um, this one right here. And I, there's a bunch of lists that you can actually um, choose and stuff like that. So that's a rundown on the, the Plex add-on. Um, uh, now, if you're having a question about should you do it, should you should you uh, pay for the $4.99 for premium to get Plex and all that stuff just to get this, um, there's a lot more option. Uh, to me, I actually like Plex. Uh, way better than Cody. I mean, Plex, you do have to do, um, look for the servers and see if they're inviting uh, people into their servers, and that's the biggest thing. But um, there's no links, and you could actually request stuff from all these people if you want. Sometimes they have that. Now, Cody, it's basically your own server type, like, right? And everybody could actually watch it. But just the ability to continuous play from other devices. Uh, it's probably the biggest feature on Plex and Cody. So I hope um, that sums up um, Cody for um, Plex for Cody for you because my voice is kind of scratchy right now. So uh, that's an inside look and an overview of Plex on Cody. So thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel and like our videos and follow us on Twitter at XBM Connect to keep up with the updates.